In a falling film evaporators, long tubes of diameters from 5 centimeter to 25 centimeter are used. The liquid feed enters from the top and the uh, liquid flow uh, inside the tubes is by gravity. But the design gets uh, complicated to get a uniform distribution of the liquid as it flows down inside the tubes. To obtain uh, improved distribution of the uh, flow, distributors are used. Also sometimes uh, spray nozzles are used to minimize any uh, non-uniform distribution of the uh, liquid feed. The falling film evaporators can handle more viscous products than the rising film evaporators because here now the uh, flow is uh, mainly by gravity. Typically uh, heat sensitive products uh, such as orange juice concentration is done in these uh, types of evaporators. The uh, typical residence time is uh, fairly short anywhere from uh, 20 to 30 seconds in comparison to 3 to 4 minutes in the rising film evaporators. There is a, another variation of uh, an evaporator design that involves a rising film section in the beginning part of the evaporator and then a falling film section in the second part of the evaporator as seen in this animation. So the uh, liquid feed uh, first goes through the rising film section where the feed gets uh, pre-concentrated and then it is allowed to fall by gravity uh, in thin films in the uh, falling film section of the evaporator. Again, uh, these types of variations allow uh, use of these evaporators uh, for specific applications for heat-sensitive foods.